Hi everyone, this is Michael from TouchPie TV with a quick video tutorial explaining how to pair the Logitech keyboard cover to the iPad. Now, the first thing you need to do is to turn on Bluetooth on the keyboard cover itself. If you go to its side, let me lift this up for you, you'll notice there's a switch here. Red indicates that it's off. There we go. And green indicates that it's on. The next thing you need to do is to press the little Bluetooth button here also to send the signal to any Bluetooth device that's around so you can pair it. Now, if you're using iOS 7, the quickest way to do this is to swipe up. Now, I'm going to change something on the iPad here. Actually, I mean on my iPhone since I'm doing this video. And I want to... There we go. That way you can see it. Okay, so... This is the Bluetooth section right here that you can turn on and turn off. Okay, so now it's off, now it's on. Okay, when it's off, you'll notice that the iPad keyboard will pop up. But if I start playing and go to my text editor, you notice that now anything I type comes out. Okay. So the two units are paired together. Now the other way to turning Bluetooth on the iPad is by going into settings. Let me go here. So locate the settings app. And you'll see a section for right under settings, Bluetooth. And you can, again, green means it's on. And now it's turned off. Okay, so if you're turning Bluetooth on here, all you have to do is turn it on. Okay, it's found a device. This is the device name that's searching for Bluetooth. It's found the Logitech Ultra Thin keyboard cover, but it's not connected yet. So what you need to do is to press the little Bluetooth button again on the side here. And now it says it's connected. Bring that up so closer. Okay. So if I go to, it's also found my MacBook Pro. It's nearby. Now, if I go back to the text editor, and that's here. There you go. Now the two units are paired together. So again, you need to turn on Bluetooth on the unit. Oops. You need to turn on Bluetooth here. Okay. Hey Siri, how you doing? And then you need to turn on Bluetooth on the iPad. 